Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to look pretty with minimal makeup because you guys constantly DM me asking what I have on my face whenever I'm just hanging out with my child or having a casual day, so I'm gonna show you. I was inspired to do this video because I got this complimentary Flawless and 5 set from Beauty Counter and it's the perfect set to show you guys how to do quick makeup, very minimal, and still look pretty. You guys know how important skincare is to me and it's especially important if you're gonna wear makeup. So skincare prep is always my first tip. You have to have the right skincare and a lot of it comes down to moisturizing your skin, hydrating and moisturizing. I like to go for a dewy look because it looks really natural, it's very soft. I feel like it makes me look a little bit younger and that's what I'm going for these days, especially as a mom. You know, if I could get people to think that I'm like, more like the babysitter, that's even better, but that never happens anyway. <laughs> but I like to go for dewy skin and it really does come down to the skincare prep. And when I say skincare prep, one of the first things that I do is I make sure that I exfoliate my skin. So I use something like this, it's from Ren, it's their Ready Steady Glow Tonic. It's an AHA exfoliator. That means it has alpha hydroxy acids like lactic acid that's really gentle on your skin. It actually helps to moisturize your skin a lot. So I always start with something like this. It'll help smooth your skin too so you have a really nice cam canvas to start with because there's nothing worse than having like some dry flaky skin or something and then trying to put makeup on top of that because you can't hide that. It's going to show if it's if you've got that texture. I've already exfoliated my skin so I'm not going to show you guys. I just wanted to make sure you guys know that I always exfoliate my skin right before I put on makeup and then if I really feel like I need it, I put on something like this. It's a humectant. This is also by Ren. It's their perfect canvas. You can use this as a primer and it's primarily used as that but I like to use it because it gives me a little bit of hydration underneath my moisturizer. I just take a couple of drops in my hand and I pat it into my skin. Now the next step is super important. It is putting on your moisturizer. I really like to wear a nice thick moisturizer underneath my makeup because my skin especially lately, I'm pregnant, it's been really, really dry and so I tend to find if I don't use a really nice moisturizer underneath my makeup, then my makeup doesn't last as long. I end up getting oily, which seems a little bit like it's the opposite. Like if you moisturize, you might end up getting too greasy during the day, but it's the opposite for me. I have to moisturize so my skin doesn't produce too much oil. And then I find that I don't have to touch up my makeup as much during the day. So I like to use something like this. It's from Tatcha. It's their Dewy Skin Cream. I just use a little bit. You just scoop it up, put it in your hand. And then here's one of my tricks. Because I wanna do fast makeup, I like to do something like this. I like to take this, it's the Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops from Drunk Elephant. It's a little bit of a bronzer, it's a concentrate, so you don't need a lot of it. And I just take a little pump of it and I mix it with my moisturizer. And what happens is it turns it into more of a bronze that I can put onto my skin while I'm moisturizing and I bring it down to my neck as well. So you can see how it like starts to give me a little bit of a golden glow. And then I don't have to put on bronzer with my makeup. So I'm killing two birds with one stone. With my moisturizer, I am also bronzing. And I even bring it over to my shoulders if I'm wearing a tank top or something. And I also don't worry if I put just a little bit too much of the bronzer because I know I'm gonna put on my foundation anyway and it's all gonna even out. Next up, an eye cream. I love this one, it's by Alginus. It's their Complete Eye Renewal Balm. It's nice and creamy. I just take a little bit and I put it on my orbital bone and make sure I just get it in this area. And this is super important before you put on makeup because you don't want your makeup to settle into your lines, especially if you have crow's feet and you don't want your makeup to settle into it and you're gonna use concealer. This is always a great way to prep the under eye area and it won't smudge or anything either. It's really interesting how it seems counterintuitive to use so much moisturizer under your makeup, but it really does help you. I also put a little bit like right under my nose because I've been really dry there. And then next up, my skin is ready for makeup. So it's all about having that dewy skin. You don't want it to be dry before you put your makeup on, no matter what you're gonna use. Even if you use a hydrating foundation, you wanna make sure you still have the right balance of hydration on your skin too. So next up is the makeup. I'm going to start with this. It's the Beauty Counter Dew Skin. It's a tinted moisturizer. Their Flawless and Five Set is just six products. They're all the basic ones that you need. They're really good makeup products that just like, they just deliver exactly what you need. So they're like the perfect brand for moms. You just know that you're using ingredients that you're gonna be happy with. And you also know you're 
still gonna look good, which is always important to me. This also happens to have some SPF in it, which is always a bonus because you know you're gonna spend some time at the park. It's always inevitable you're going outside with your kid. So I just like to pump this on the back side of my hand and then I'll actually tap it first and I dot it onto my skin. Get some right there too. I have a little bit left over if I need it and then I take my beauty blender and I just blend it into my skin. I especially like to use something like a tinted moisturizer. I like the added SPF. I like to wear SPF during the day too. It's not necessary for the actual skin prep. I wanted to show you guys the stuff that you're gonna use to make sure your skin looks dewy, but I do like to use an SPF and then have this added protection from a tinted moisturizer. It's not like I'm getting dolled up and I don't wanna look like I tried really hard if I'm going to anything like a play date or you know, just hanging out, going and running errands. And it just doesn't feel nice to have a thick makeup on. This one just feels really nice on your skin and it's, and it gives you just an even skin tone, which is really what I'm going for. And I always bring it down to my neck to make sure that everything is really even. And you can see it just gives you a really dewy glow. It, almost doesn't look like I have anything on, which is what I like about it. So there you go, you can see that my skin looks really dewy. I'm actually not gonna powder it, but I do love that this set knows that we're moms. I'm also pregnant, so being pregnant, that means that I have melasma in the form of freckles all over my cheeks. So I do like to get a little bit of that if you have under eye circles because you haven't slept, anything like that. This is great. It's a Beauty Counter Touch Up Concealer Pen. I love this stuff. It's so easy to use. You just click it up and then I like to do a little V shape underneath my under eyes. And then I take my sponge again and I just pat it. I also go for a tone that's like a, just a shade lighter than my regular skin tone because I like for it to look a little bit brighter underneath my eye. And then as I'm blending it, I like to pull it down a little bit like into these areas right here. I like to also go over my eyelids a little bit just to even out the skin tone there. So when, when I'm saying flawless, I'm not necessarily trying to hide every imperfection in my skin. I'm just trying to make it look like I embrace everything, right? Like I'm trying to kind of hide all of this melasma, but really I'm trying to even out my skin tone, look dewy, look fresh, because that's what I really think makes a person look like they've just got this natural, no makeup look, is looking really dewy and fresh. You know, your skin tone is just an even tone. Nobody ever really comments about my freckles as much as they comment about how my skin tone just looks really smooth and even. And there you go. So I'm gonna skip powder because I feel like it's not necessary to set your makeup every single day if you're just gonna go out and not be on camera or taking pictures or anything like that. So, and especially because I'm using a tinted moisturizer like this, I really just want to look dewy. So I'm gonna make sure that I just stay that way and skip the powder to set my makeup. All right, so the next product I would normally do is bronzer, but because I mix that bronzer with my moisturizer, I'm gonna move ahead to blush. So this is also part of the Flawless in Five set. I love this color, it's called Nectar, and it's a really nice peach undertone. I feel like peach looks very natural. It gives you that glow that you need in your skin. It looks like you've got a natural flush. I think we think of pink as like the color that we should be putting on when we want a natural flush, but it's really that peachy tone that looks really youthful and like you've got a natural flush to your skin. So I'm gonna take a blush brush and I'm gonna just gently tap it. You don't need too much. I always say start with less and then build it. And then I'm just gonna go right here onto the apples of my cheeks. Uh, this has a little bit of like a, a highlight to it too. So you don't wanna go overboard with it, but it's adding to that glow. I like to dab a little bit more if I feel like I need it and I go up with it instead. I feel like a lot of people think that they need to go down with their blush or like really get a big circle going on in the, like the apples of their cheeks. But I like to go up because again, I'm trying to look youthful and I want everything to go up. I want like everyone's eyes when they look at me to look up. So I go upward like that onto the bone. And then something else I do when, um, when I'm wearing minimal makeup is I take a little bit more and I just kind of sweep it over my eyelid. And you don't need a lot of that. I'm just trying to get a little bit of like a highlight going on my eye and give it just a little bit of depth and tone to it as well. And that just really evens everything out. And another thing when you're putting on a blush like this, especially when it's like a peach tone, 
you're really just trying to like warm up your complexion. That's really the point of it. You're not trying to contour or do anything like that. Remember, blush is not used for that kind of situation. You're just trying to add a little bit more color to your skin. You're warming it up. So as you can see, it just gives you that nice golden glow. I warmed up my skin a little bit so it doesn't look like I only have foundation on my face. And then next are my eyes because you have to make sure that you have a little something on your eyes. I almost never leave the house without doing my brows, doing a little bit of mascara, and then obviously a lip gloss. So that's what's left in the Flawless and 5 set. It's so perfect. You can obviously go in and choose the different colors that you want. I went with a really neutral toned um, palette because that's what I'm going for. It's those natural peachy blushy tones that I love that just make your skin look so natural and pretty. So first I'm gonna go in with this. It's the Beauty Counter Brow Gel. My color is medium. One thing to keep in mind, and it's so funny when I work with a makeup artist, um, you guys all know if you watch Mixed Makeup, I work with Nikki LaRose, and she used to always hate before I start working with her, I'd go really dark with my brows. It was like this, I was just very heavy handed with my brows, and over time she made me realize that I needed to go a little bit lighter with my brows. They are dark naturally, so it's always best to go with something that's more of like a medium tone so that they don't just stand out on your face, especially if you're not wearing that much makeup. So I'm gonna go in with this. What I love about it is it has a little bit of color. Um, it also has some fibers to really help your brows look a little bit thicker. And it sets them, it holds them in place. So you're just gonna run this through your brows. And I love that it just gives it, you know, just a natural, nice shape. And then I go in on the other side, same thing. I like to brush up and then kind of bring them down towards the end. All right, and you can see it just really sets your brows. It makes them, you know, look a little bit more groomed. It makes you feel like you actually did something to your face. I don't know, there's something about brows. You cannot leave without your brows done, especially my friends that have lighter um, brow colors. You have to use something like this and give your brows a tint to them because you wanna make sure that they're framing your eyes. And that's where, again, I like when people look at me, They their eyes kind of like draw up on my face and it makes you just look more youthful to them. Next, I'm gonna put on mascara. I always curl my lashes before I wear any mascara. I personally am a fan of a lengthening mascara. I think because of the shape of my eyes, I like the lengthening mascara is more because I'm trying to get that length and again, have the eyes draw up when people look at me. But I also find that the brushes on lengthening mascaras are a little bit thinner and that makes it so much easier for me to get in and really get all of the different lashes because I go top and bottom lash when I apply mascara. So this is the lengthening mascara by Beauty Counter. It's in black and you can see it's a thin brush. So if you're Asian also like me, a thin mascara brush is key. And when I'm applying mascara, I like to start at the base and wiggle it up. And then as I get towards the end, I use the tip of the brush to really get those lashes. And then before I dip, I actually, that's when I go into the bottom because you don't want it to look too harsh on your bottom lashes. So after I do the other side, I am a two coat mascara girl. I, especially when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I feel like really making your lashes stand out opens your eyes and people don't even realize that you're not wearing any eyeshadow or any kind of eyeliner because you're using your mascara to go in there. For the second coat, I like to actually focus more on the tips because those get, I feel like the tips of your lashes get neglected a lot with mascara and that's where you can really start to show that your lashes are actually long. People are like, you have long lashes. It's because I go in and I focus on the tips for the second coat. And I like two coats because if you do one really thick coat, it actually makes your lashes look a little bit more clumpy. So you wanna make sure that you let it dry after the first coat, then go in with that second coat. And for the second coat, I do not put on the bottom lashes. And you can see there's a big difference between two coats on my right side and one coat on my left side. It looks good on my left side, but the two coats on the right side, bam. And then my lashes are done. My makeup is pretty much done. The only thing to do now is to put on a lip gloss. This is also part of the Flawless in 5 set. I love this color, it's called Rosewood. I like to go with something that's like a pinky nude tone for my lips. It gives it color so that my lips really stand out, but it doesn't look too intense. Sometimes my trick is to go for a really intense look and then it looks like I really got dolled up. But if I'm going for just, again, natural looking makeup, this is the kind of tone I go for.
And there you go. That is how I do my makeup when I'm just having a casual day. Again, I went for that glowy look. I like to warm up my skin tone with the kinds of tones that I like to go for, those peachy pink colors. A little bit of highlight on my cheeks, but not really. It's all about that dewiness all around on your skin. You know, I get so many compliments on this look, so it makes me feel pretty with very minimal makeup, and I hope that you guys take some tips away from this because, you know, you don't really need that much. It's great to still feel like you can doll yourself up a little bit, even if you're spending the day with your child. I like to do that. I don't know who I'm gonna see. So you know what? I like to go out there and look like I feel like the best version of myself. And this is how I do that. If I feel like this is that perfect in-between makeup look. If you guys have any questions about this look, tell me in the comments below. I'll make sure to answer. You can find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you guys soon.